You know, you may catch one or two persons who refuse to come to church today. If you ask them, they will say they don't want to be in a place, in a crowd, because of coronavirus. <laughs> people think like that. Too. People think like that. But they still enter BRT buses to go to work. That's, there's no crowd there. They release their children to go to school. There's no crowd there. <laughs> Praise God. They enter banking halls. There's no crowd there. The only first thing that will occur to them is, ah, I won't go to church again no, because there's a crowd. But I congratulate you. You are not like that. Praise the Lord. Please help put off all the lights in the hall. We should have done that. The effect would have been more powerful. Put off all the lights. All. No lights whatsoever. Where does this one go off from? Which one is this one shining behind me? Where do they put it up? When you put it up, stand there. What about this? Okay, these are God's light. They don't go off. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right. All right, let's just make do with that. Stand, I want somebody to stand near all the lights. And then I will give you an instruction right now. All of us will chorus the instruction together. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's turn on the lights. We are children of light, aren't we? First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. We're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy people. We have been called out, out of darkness into what? It's marvelous light. Somebody said I've been called into light. John chapter 8 verse 12. John 8 verse 12. Then Jesus spoke to them. Again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Is there any follower of Jesus here this morning? Somebody say, I have the light of life. Say it one more time. Bible says we have been called into light. Bible says we have the light of life. John 12, 36. John 12, 36. We have been called into light. We have the light of life. Praise God. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may become sons of light. Uh, anybody believes in the light here this morning? Therefore, if we believe in the light, we are what? We are what? So we have been called into his marvelous light. We have the light of life. And we have become what? Sons of light. Praise the Lord. I said praise God. So this, essentially this month, I want to uh, uh, encourage us to activate the light that we have on our inside. Praise the Lord. So what happened here a few moments ago is that there, there was light in the room, but the light was not activated. Is that not correct? And then some people benevolently helped us activate the light. And we're enjoying the light. Praise God. Okay, so um, before we talk about how we should or how to activate the light that we are, that we carry, that we have, um, let's see how Jesus did it. Jesus also was light. Praise God. John chapter 1 verse 4, Bible says he became, he came to us and as the light of life. John chapter 1 verse 4, in him was life and the life was the light of men. Praise the Lord. So Jesus was the light of men. Verse 5, 
verse 5. Bible says, and that light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not what? Comprehend it. In other words, the darkness could not stop it. Jesus, in him, was the light of life. And as he shone or shined, Bible says the darkness could not comprehend it. Praise the Lord. I said, praise God. Luke chapter 2, verse 30, just to further show us that Jesus came as the light. Luke chapter 2, verse 30. For my eyes have seen your salvation. This is Simeon when he was uh, praying, uh, dedicating Jesus. Verse, I'm going to verse 32. Which you have prepared before the face of all people. Verse 32. A light. Somebody say a light. light. To bring revelation to the Gentiles. And the glory of your people Israel. So Jesus. So even before Jesus came of age. And started declaring that I am the light of the world. He, he, he is at, as a baby. Somebody already prophesied that this baby is the light. Is a light to the Gentiles. Glory to God. Somebody say I'm light. Say it again. I'm light. Praise God. See John chapter 9 verse 5. Please follow me this morning. John chapter 9 verse 5. Thank you Jesus. We are the light of the world, the Bible tells us. As long, Jesus is talking, as I am in the world, I am the what? The light of the world. Praise God. Now, let's interpret scripture with scripture. Oh, no, be, before then, Matthew chapter 4 verse 13. So, Jesus said, as long as I'm the, in the world, I'm the light of the world. Introducing us to him, Bible said he was, he, he, in him was life, and the life was the light of men. That great man of God dedicating him, he said, this guy is the light to the Gentiles. Praise the Lord. But see what happened. And leaving Nazareth, talking about Jesus, Jesus actually relocated in the place. He moved houses. We don't know why he moved. He just moved. He grew up in a particular place and then he moved. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is by the sea in the regions of Zebulun and Naphtali. I'm going to verse 17. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And upon those who sat in the region and in the shadow of death, light has dawned. Praise the Lord. And then the Bible says, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of God of heaven is Satan. So Jesus moved from Nazareth where he grew up. He moved to Capernaum in the regions of Naphtali and Zebulun. And Bible says because he moved that which was prophesied by Isaiah the prophet was fulfilled. Praise God. I said praise God. Many years, thousands of years before Isaiah the prophet had prophesied that someday is coming. Zebulun, Naphtali, people in those areas that they will see light. Praise God. And as soon as, Jesus, as soon as Jesus moved there, the Bible says it was fulfilled. Praise the Lord. I said praise God. In other words, Jesus' is moving there brought light there. Glory to God. We are not just light for, say, for, as, uh, for saying sake. Am I communicating? Where you and I live or dwell, wherever we find ourselves, people around us should see light. I'm saying that because you live in Lagos, light has dawned on Lagos. Are you still here? Victor, because you live in Banana Island, light has dawned in Banana Island. Ah, the, even the person didn't receive it. Thank God. Some other people claimed it. Praise God. Are you still here? Are you still here? Jesus was light. But he didn't hide the light that he was. And that's what he was telling us in Matthew chapter 5. 
that who, who, who lights a candle and puts it under a bushel? Light is supposed to lighten. Glory to God. I said glory to God. First John chapter 4 verse 16. Bible says that as he was, so, uh, uh, sorry, as he is, so are we in this world. If wherever Jesus moved to, light dawned there. Wherever you are, people of Jesus, light should dawn there. Glory to God. Are you still here? Wherever you find yourself, in whichever family, in whichever organization, wherever, whether a, a geographical location or whatever, or group location, wherever you find yourself, they should see light. Praise God. I'm telling you this morning that wherever you find yourself, light is supposed to be shining there. If wherever Jesus moved, light shined, wherever you are, light is supposed to shine. Praise God. I said praise God. That will not permit us, but that's exactly how it was for John the Baptist. That's exactly how it was for, for, for the apostles. They knew that they were light, and wherever they found themselves, they made sure that the light shined. Praise God. Please help me tell your neighbor, shine your light. Say to another person, shine your light. Maybe we should see an example of John the Baptist. Luke chapter 1 verse 79. This is his father prophesying. Again, when he was born, as a baby. Okay, let's start from verse 78 or something. The Zechariah is prophesying concerning the, the, the child. Through the tender mercy of our God with whom the day spring from on has visited us, verse 79. To give light to those who see it in darkness and the shadow of death. To guide our feet into the way of peace. Praise God. So that was what they prophesied concerning John the Baptist. And that's exactly what he did. Glory to God. I said glory to God. That's exactly what he did. Now, quickly, because of time, how do you shine light? Three very quick ways. Number one, by your conduct. By your conduct. Philippians chapter 2. By your conduct. Philippians chapter 2 verse 14 to 16. How do you ensure that your light is shining wherever you are by your conduct? Do all things without complaining and disputing. That you may become blameless and harmless. Children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as lights in the world. Praise the Lord. That you may become blameless and what? Armless. That you may become blameless and harmless. Uh, so, uh, uh, the, the first thing to do is you need to begin to work on your conduct. You need to begin to work on your conversation. Glory to God. I said glory to God. You need to begin to work on your behavior, on your attitude. When people see you, they should suspect that this is light standing in this corner. Glory to God. This is another reason, people of Jesus, you cannot be compromising on sin. You can't. You can't. Am I communicating? You cannot be compromising on sin. You cannot. You have to live right. So that when we get to the second and the third step, when you are, because the third step is we need to teach it. Part of the, a larger part, three of them are equally important. Part of shining the light is teaching it. So that when you begin to teach it, people will not be confused in your, with your emissions. You will not be saying one thing. You will not be found saying one thing and doing another thing. Am I communicating? Is somebody following me? People of Jesus, no matter what it takes, whether it takes faith, whether it takes fight, whether it takes force, whether it takes uh, fast, four Fs, 
four helps to destroying besetting sins. Force, faith, fight, fast. Employ it. Praise God. Whatever keeps pulling you down is shutting down your light. Am I communicating? Whatever keeps pulling you down is shutting down your light. So, uh, uh, somebody say I'm light. Say I am a shining light. Say it one more time. I'm a shining light. Uh, uh, John chapter 5 verse 35. The Bible says that John the Baptist was a burning and shining light. He was the burning and shining lamp. And you were willing for a time to rejoice in his light. I see people rejoicing in your light. Yeah. That amen is weak. 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 Yeah. You have to be a burning and a shining light. Yeah. 